Uh, welcome back, Blade fans. And by now, you're probably familiar with a brand called Damned Designs, which means you probably have seen this one called the Hades. Very nice one. This one out of satin finished D2 with jade green G10, natural G10. Or maybe you're more familiar with the Wendigo or Wendigo. Nice stone finish, stubby Tonto blade, same handle format. And you may be familiar with the Yokai, a Tonto style blade. So the Yokai, the Hades, the Wendigo. Well, brace yourselves because enter now the fixed blade damn designs. Look at that. Same handle motif. Same pivot pin, although not on this one. Kind of a bolt holding the handles on. We're going to bring these guys out later on. But let's take a look at the one that uh, today is all about. Yes, this is the Basilisk. In keeping with the same design language and motif, Adrian D'Souza, the company owner, created this really nice drop point clip point, long clip if you want to call it that, deep belly, super high blade out of this one, Sanvik 14C. I think there's plans to make it out of S35VN. And he's got a new crop of knives at his site. I'll drop you the link in this review. So you can go out there and check them out. This shipping, by the way, was very quick. I had this from order time to at my door in about five days. And that had to go from Michigan to the East Coast. So pretty good. Comes through with a high flat grind. Beautiful stone wash, black G10 handle, and we have this rivet here going through to a, looks like, yeah, T8 on the other side. We've got a pommel screw uh, both sides. So conceivably, you can take these handle slabs off, although I haven't tried. Something very interesting I notice and I am not sure you can really pick up on it, but the tang of the the blade, the handle, um, is sort of radiused, and the slabs of G10 are also radiused. So effectively, you have a little bit of maybe almost an intentional gap in there. And again, I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't go all the way down very deep, but you can get your thumbnail in there. So my only concern would be it's a place for dirt and debris to hide. You might have to scrub it out once in a while. Not a big deal, but, you know, I just picked up on that because this is assembled after manufacture. So you have uh, somewhat radiused edges to the steel somewhat radius edges to the insides of the handle slabs but gorgeous deep belly on this and we're going to just measure it up so we've got eight and seven eighths inch almost nine inches overall exactly four inches to the handle from the tip and what is that cutting edge oh about uh, four point three five yeah, 4.35. And we have 
pretty thin handle yeah 0.53 just over half an inch pretty thin for a fixed blade and we have a four millimeter blade stock which is going to probably translate to 0.16 we'll see 0.16 we'll call it that's what it's supposed to be and if we weigh it up by itself we'll show you the sheath in a moment pretty nice sheath we have 6.7 we'll call it 6.7 ounces it's not a light knife and I'm not sure there's weight relieving on the tang underneath the handles could be um, here is the nice kydex sheath with some very sturdy uh, thickness on the kydex and we have a kind of a pseudo tech lock here it's a good one sturdy looking snap shut but we do have a lock here so if you switch it over there you can't push that in switch it over here push it in open it up that pin right there is what locks underneath that tab and you can move it around so not too much you need pretty much that hole span in order to use the holes on the sheath uh, this is a different span from the shortest span on the clip unfortunately um, but with the shortest span you could actually put it up a little higher on those two grommets or you could simply elect to use a ulti clip or some such thing but fits in very well locks in no rattle at all and easily because of the way the sheath was tunneled out there easily push that off with one thumb so should you decide to carry it in the front pocket a little big for that but can be done depends upon the depth of the pocket you're carrying it in I like that though one other measurement I'd like to take is um, we've got like one and seven eighths inches blade height almost two inch blade height pretty pretty tall knife and if we do bring back the uh, other ones for comparison here's the Wendigo I mean those knives are almost clones of each other except for the blade shape and a little bigger is it a little bigger handle yeah it's a little bigger handle by a little bit than on the folder same contour same shape we got the same shape and contour on the uh, yokai this yokai is a white g10 hesitated with that but you can dye it pretty easily but I kind of like the uh, ivory white kind of look to it of course the uh, these come really nicely set up the way the clips are uh, inset in the handles you've got uh, blockheads blocks or uh, fillers on either side you can switch it to the left side and you notice the same trademark hexagon on all of these as for length yeah of course the fixed blade is going to be longer these are coming in at around like um, three and an eighth blade length and uh, about eight inches overall so uh, fixed blades certainly longer but you're carrying it on a belt sheath here's the Hades throw that in there Hades is one of the first ones to come out so if you have a Hades there it is compared to the Hades So you got a higher knife, taller knife, taller handle, nicer goes to it. Only thing I find with the ergos on this handle is they do give you a forward finger choil. It's a little on the small side. If you pinch grip it here on this nice ramp with this really nice uh, jimping 
here you have um, you know pretty good purchase and then this finger doesn't really want to lie in that finger groove it wants to go back a little bit if I hold it first finger here and the rest there I'm fine in a uh, saber grip diagonal palm grip I could go up here and then put the finger on top pretty easily um, if they cut this in and radiused it a little deeper, I think it would be perfect and maybe brought it out just a little. You'd lose a tiny bit of cutting edge. But the heel of that blade does go forward rather than back, which is good. And you do have a good termination for sharpening. Plunge grind kind of goes back on the same line with the handle in an interesting way rather than scooping around. And the grind of the blade, you can see it there, right? So there's the plunge grind, and there's the kind of where the flat begins, and this angle begins here towards the plunge grind. Good thickness out to the point. Yep, good thickness. So I would say, you know, 4 millimeter blade stock is just about right for this. And a good thin handle just over half an inch but because it's tall it's plenty hand filling it just isn't fat this way but it's tall that makes up for any loss of thickness in the handle aggressive jimping but it's not a thumb eater by any means it's slightly rounded but deep uh, no other jimping we got do have a lanyard hole at the bottom of the pommel, part of the frame, part of the uh, tang of the blade goes straight through. So no sweat putting almost any thickness of cord through there pretty much, any paracord that is. And you know this is still usable, this choil, not, not really a problem. Depends upon what you're doing with it. If you're holding it square like this, no problem. If you want to hold it point down, tactical sort of use, no problem, or push cuts away. Um, you can actually even hold it pretty comfortably this way. I don't see a problem with that. It's a pretty well-designed knife, and if there is the counterpart Tonto Yokai version of this basilisk, same exact knife, uh, same handle, same dimensions, except it's got a very abrupt faceted uh, American Tonto clip to it. So um, we stack it up against, let's say, let's just pull a rat one out here. Here's what you got as far as that goes. And it's slightly longer than the rat one, much taller. And the argument can always be you know, there are advantages to fixed blades. There are advantages to folders. Folders obviously carry a lot easier, carry clipped inside the pocket. Uh, fixed blades never going to fold on your fingers. It's more rigid. You can pry with it and do things you can't do with a folder. And it's really a matter of personal choice and personal use. So I would think this would make a pretty good field knife for kind of all around utility EDC. Uh, it could make a good backup type knife if you carry it uh, in a scout uh, carry with this clip mounted um, vertically instead of horizontally. Wear that in the small of the back. It should work out quite well. So that is the Dam Designs Basilisk Fixed Blade. You can see this fixed blade and the yokai out at the Dam Designs website. And as I said, I'll drop that link at the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll see a little icon down here in the lower right. Click on that. It'll bring you to the subscribe page. And don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be back soon.